So good afternoon, everyone. It's Wednesday and you're on business as usual. And it is, it actually marks our 150th session. But before we get started, I just wanna take a moment of silence and uh, just remember that two years ago was the massacre that happened at Tree of Life here in Squirrel Hill. Hard for me to believe that it's been two years. Um, I used to be a member of that congregation and uh, it would just be in honor to all the people and all the people in this community that were amazing to the Jewish community, the black community, the Muslim community, um, you name it, that really came out to show their support and to hold services that were interdenominational. And uh, for all the people that unfortunately um, lost their lives so tragically, if you could just take a moment. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm very choked up, I'm sorry. Um, I would like to give thanks to Huntington Bank for always being with us on this journey and for the work that they do in our community. And um, I also am very, very thrilled that we're, you're going to get a chance to just come behind the scenes and meet some of the people who really do, you know, most of the heavy lifting in terms of the work that we do at the Tech Council. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to highlight them. I'm excited to... Uh, for many of you to just meet and understand the work that they do and because uh, they really do do the work and, and we are touching people in the business community each and every day more than ever before and uh, we hope that we're doing the right thing we are convening the community we're hearing feedback from people and uh, the people that you're going to meet today I think you know you'll be pretty impressed I'm I'm nothing without them and uh, I'm pretty thrilled to be able to bring them to the forefront and just ask them some questions. I might be a little bit more somber today, so I would probably need some of you to jump in in some humor. But uh, I would like to start. Let's start with Al Gusky. I'm going to bring up Al Gusky. And uh, Al, thanks Hello. for being here today. Tell everyone what you do. I am the director of finance and HR for the uh, Tech Council. I've been here about six and a half years. And I previously worked at Maya along with you a long time ago. So we've mm -hmm. known each other for several years. Yes, so. we have. Back in the day, we had a lot of fun. Now, now we work, we really work for a living. Yeah. So, so share the one thing that you're working on today that will help, that will help a tech company. So I've been working on multiple employer 401k plan. So we formed a MEP is what it's called back in June, mm -hmm. and it allows multiple companies to come together and pull all the resources to form one large 401k plan. And it allows individual companies to save on their annual member annual uh, administration fees. It also cuts down on the administration of the plans they have to do because everybody is now under one plan and it's all the PTC sponsored plans. So we take care of all that, that administration and the fees are split amongst everybody who's on the plan. So it allows you to get a much better plan for a lot cheaper price. So that's exciting. So if people are have 401k plans and they're interested, reach out to Al Gusky, a Gusky at pghtech.org. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you have a plan or if you just want to form a plan, you can do either one. Okay, awesome. And so what's one thing about you that we couldn't learn from LinkedIn? What's one thing? Uh, I've, been, I've been restoring a Mustang for like the last 30 years. <laughs> in, the rate, in the rate that I'm done going, yet, maybe Is my- Is it done yet? Is it done yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> the you rate I'm going, yet? maybe my 14 year old will be able to drive it in two years when uh, <laughs> he's able to drive. That'll be his uh, 16th birthday present the way I'm going. Um, great. Just a project for forever. So. That's awesome. So thank you. Thank you, Al. Thanks for joining us today. Next up is Allison. Allison, let's come to the forefront. She's, I'm very thrilled to have her as a uh, part of the team. So Allison, introduce oh. yourself and tell everyone about, you know, your background, just a little bit about you and what you do at the Tech Council. Can do. 
So my name is Allison Kaharik. I am currently at the Tech Council as the Director of Major Programs, including CIO of the Year, the Athena Awards, and the Tech 50 Awards. Tomorrow is my one-year anniversary at the Council. And before this role for the entirety of my career, I've been working in marketing, marketing communications, operations, and event planning. And so what's, you know, just share one thing that you're working on that today that you think helps um, technology companies. Sure. Let me package my one thing into a shameless plug to say that I am currently gearing up for the 2020 Tech 50 Awards coming up on Thursday, November 12th. And that event for the tech community, it shines a light on 50 tech companies and this year, nine top-notch CEOs in the Southwestern PA region. Um, and these people are true tech innovators. So we love sharing their stories and helping others learn what they do through this annual awards program, you know, just to help get in front of them and see how guys might be able to work together. And if anyone wants to attend Tech 50, I will uh, put the link in the chat later. It is free for PTC members, and I hope to see you all there. Awesome. Thank you. So what's one thing that you think uh, no one would find out about you if they looked it up on LinkedIn? Got it. Well, you said you wanted some levity to this call today. So I really do believe in working hard and playing harder. So what LinkedIn won't tell you is that I love traveling the world with a tiny rubber hand and taking absolutely <laughs> ridiculous pictures with it in front of global landmarks. So if you want to see some of them, let's connect on LinkedIn and I'll be more than happy to share my top five or my top 50, depending on how much time you have. And that's true. I totally forgot about that. She woke up, she came in and she had these tiny little hands and I looked around and said, what, what is that? What is that about? So thank you. Thank you for reminding everyone about Tech 50. It's going to be really exciting. You've done a great job when it comes to all these virtual events lately. So Monica. Hello. Monica. Hi, Monica. Hi. So tell us a little bit about you and the work that you do. And I believe you just celebrated some time with us, right? Yeah, yesterday was my five-year anniversary. So yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, been a, it's been a fun ride so far. So I am a Senior Director for Industry Networks with the, um, with the Tech Council, of course. I have over 15 years experience um, in association management, um, primarily in membership and events. Um, and... Right now, um, I'm managing our IT and our manufacturing programs. Okay, so, so can you share one thing that you're doing right now that you think is really important for everyone to know? Yeah, absolutely. So I've been really excited about the IT programming that we've done over the summer and that we have upcoming. So we've done a recent collaboration with some of the folks in Columbus. So we've featured some, some CIOs from there um, to get some new voices into the room. And we've also, you know, one of the things that I feel like we're really starving for is networking um, while we're here in Zoom, in Zoom okay. land. Um, but we've been able to really um, provide that opportunity for networking through the CIO Insights. Um, we've been utilizing the breakout rooms. And I think it's really helped attendees, you know, continue to meet people and connect with people right. um, here in the Pittsburgh uh, technology community. And I think it's great that, you know, you've been working on expanding the reach by making sure that, you know, why we like to say that Columbus is really just a suburb of Pittsburgh, right? Absolutely. And so why not? Why not figure out some ways for chief information officers, chief security officers, anyone that's on that tech side of a business to connect and to address the issues that uh, face us today. Even recently, I liked when you heard, when you gathered everyone together and talked about what's it like to hire remotely and work from home, et cetera. Absolutely. I want to hear from other colleagues. Yeah. And one of the things that yeah. has been really interesting is, is the conversations we've been having about the um, technology implementation acceleration that everyone is just, you know, they, what happened, yeah. what, what they thought would be happening five years from now is happening now. Right, so, right, it pushed us forward. So what would we need to know about you that <laughs> we don't know about you? So I'm a bit of a theme park nerd. So um, if you're looking to plan a trip to a theme park, let me know. In the past two years, I've visited most of the major theme parks in California, Florida, here in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and even Japan. Um, and in addition, Allison just reminded me or made me think I have an Instagram account, Adventure Gudetama. If you are, um, if you know the Sanrio, Sanrio character, it's the lazy egg. Um, he goes on adventures with me and has his own Instagram account. You can see him at many of the theme parks that I visited and the other landmarks that I visited. So, what was the theme park in Japan? 
What's that? What was the theme park in Japan? Oh, we went to Disneyland, Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Disney Sea, and um, Universal Studios in Osaka. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So there you have it. Own Instagram account and everything. Okay. So now <laughs> let's bring on Marie. Marie, wow. welcome. So let's introduce yourself. Tell us about your background. I am the Director of Talent Attraction and STEM Development at PTC, and I come from the world of education. I was a middle school teacher for 11 years, and then for six years, I worked for a curriculum development company and wrote their science and math middle school curriculum, and then found myself on the 501c3 side, our, our foundation side here at the PTC called 40 by 80, um, developing STEM programs, which I absolutely love and still get to do in this new role um, and now package it up with workforce development and talent attraction. Awesome. So tell us about the one thing that you think our members need to know about that, that you know, about what you're doing. So I like to call Marie like the resident nerd because she actually <laughs> comes from academic, you know, ac sort of a K through 12 academia but she also has a tremendous propensity for continuous learning and science. And I am such a nerd. So I absolutely adore that you say that about me. Um, but yes, so right now, I'm gonna actually talk about two different things. We have a higher up coming up. And the reason that I think this is really benefiting the, the tech companies that our members are in our region are we're really looking at what tech jobs are you looking for? What is the need that you're really having right now? What non-tech jobs? Um, but also looking at remote positions. Um, and that's coming up on November 10th. So we really want to help companies find some great talent in the region, but also maybe bring some, some talent back to this region that may have left. So we're looking at that as well. And in combination with that, we're putting together a winning talent together coming up, looking at companies that have moved to um, looking at remote workers first. So companies that have made that transition and how does that look and how does that look different? How is your onboarding looking different? Um, how is your recruiting looking different? So we wanna get that conversation started. That's great. So what might people not know about you by looking at LinkedIn? <laughs> Um, I would say that I raise honeybees along with my kids. Um, we have several hives way out in the backyard, and we recently just harvested 30 jars of honey. Wow. Will you soon be putting that into a business? Um, I think eventually. I, this is only my third year doing it, so I share it and give it away. But yes, once I get really good at really keeping the bees alive, I for sure will sell some honey. <laughs> Great. So thank you so much. And thank you for being a newest member on our team. So now I'm going to ask for Jonathan. Many of you know Jonathan from these BAUs and from some of the other work that he's done, but Jonathan, yeah. so what, you know, just introduce yourself and uh, give us your background. Well, this is kind of a cool transition because you went from the newest employee to the oldest employee because I've been at the PTC for 23 years now and I have appreciated your shout outs Audrey on BAU letting people know for quite a while of my 23 years of existence at the PTC so that, that was kind of fun as far as that goes so I'm, I'm our, our VP of, uh, of all things communications and media at the tech council at the end of the day I just love telling our members stories is really what it comes down to and we just have so many ways of doing that you know old school ways through our TEQ magazine. People still like printed magazines. It's fun to see yourself in print and we still do that. We also have our on-ramp magazine, which has been a ton of fun for us to put out there and talk more about robotics and industry 4.0 type of stuff. And of course our bread and butter, we love doing Tech Vibe Radio. We're now on Saturdays on ESPN 970. A lot of fun to talk to our members about all the great things they're doing innovations are coming up with it always blows my mind which is why people always ask me like man you've been there for 23 years like what gives i'm like because i keep having so much fun i don't know what to do with myself it doesn't get old for me i love telling these stories and i want to continue doing it as long as possible and of course audrey our podcasting and of course bringing up bau how to become 150 episodes remember it was going to be like eh, this will be a couple weeks and we'll be done with this <laughs> and then it's like november you know, so. listen, this is classic jonathan i asked him for one thing what did <laughs> i have do? to go I, off, like, I was gonna say. like a whole bunch of things in terms of you, you can't meet anyone who's more focused on our membership and knows the stories than than jonathan so what might people not know about you by looking at linkedin 
LinkedIn. Ah, yeah, what would know. what would not be on there? Probably the fact that I have a family of squirrels living in the knee wall of my house right now, and I can hear them. Like <laughs> that's always kind of a pain. But other than that, it's probably my complete other other dedication towards riding my bicycles. If I wasn't working at the tech council, I'd be working in a bike shop. It's as simple as that. Okay, so awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks. I'm gonna bring up Shelby. Hello. Hi, Shelby. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Okay, so Shelby, introduce yourself. Sure, so I'm the director of member engagement at the PTC. Uh, basically, it's my job to make sure our members are getting value with the membership across all of our pillars. So that's business development, talent, government affairs, and visibility. And another hat that I wear at the council is I manage our creative industries network uh, programming as well. So what, um, what's the one thing you're working on that you think you're the most, that people really need to know? Uh, well, I am working on developing new ways for our membership to develop community building, as well as ways to provide business development and visibility opportunities for each other. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what's the one thing that people might not find out about? When they look well, LinkedIn. Yeah. I, on the side, so I'm very passionate about sustainability and reuse. So I have a hobby of reusing clothes that would have ended up in landfills and I repurpose them, whether it's fixing them or just getting them to new folks that can make sure that they continue getting a life. Wow. Okay. So let's see who else. Brian Kennedy, come to the come to the forefront. Hi. Hi, hi, and Brian, what you know? So who are you? Uh, I'm Brian Kennedy. I'm the vice president for operations at the Tech Council. In addition to operations, I also focus on government affairs. So that means our advocacy work in Washington D.C. and in Harrisburg. It also means uh, some of the people that we bring to the business as usual to meet with our members every week including on this Friday, shameless plug, this Friday we're hosting Michael Christman, who is the special agent in charge from the FBI. Uh, he's gonna be talking about Cybersecurity Awareness Month and he was previously in charge of all cybersecurity at the FBI. Uh, I think in two weeks we're hosting Lieutenant Governor uh, John Fetterman. So I'm busy uh, often interacting with elected officials and on behalf of our member companies. So what might people be not know about you? So if they went on LinkedIn, what might they not know? Uh, so I am kind of an open book on LinkedIn as anybody who follows me will know. So please, if you're not following me, please do that. Um, I'd say one thing that uh, people might not know is that whenever I find something new and exciting that I fall in love with, I also want to bring everyone else along with me. And so everyone on the team can tell you that I talk ad nauseum about electric vehicles um, as an example, but um, Probably the biggest area is around travel. I didn't, I didn't really travel outside of the country until late in life and fell in love with it. So I spent a little bit of time being a, um, a travel agent for people like me who, who haven't left the country and trying to find affordable ways to get people out there. If you look at my LinkedIn from a couple of weeks ago, I think I posted a trip in September to Rome uh, that included uh, six days of uh, hotel and airfare, and it was $700 a person. So if you've never left the country and want to head somewhere, let me know. I'll give you some tips on how to travel affordably. So everyone, the, this is just a snapshot of some of the people who are working on our team. We have lots of things that are planned for the future. There are lots of things that we actually talk about. How do we keep people connected? How do we keep people getting the um, connections to business? How do we do networking? These are the things that we're going to be addressing over the winter, but we need to hear from all of you. We need to hear it. Our work is all about you. It's not about all of us that we've just shared. We, I just wanted everyone to see a little bit about who's behind the scenes, who's doing what, and what we're passionate about, and that we actually it does take all of us to try to lift the work to make sure that Southwestern Pennsylvania is an amazing place to do tech um, your tech companies to do business and to be networked. But we also know that we're facing a new world and we're facing a new world that we're not going to go back to. We want to figure out ways that we can continue to do the kind of networking and get people um, business, make sure that people have access to capital, make sure that the pathways 
for tomorrow are really work that we're doing on. That's what that we're doing. We're really focused on making sure that we're not leaving people behind. But it takes all of us to do that. And we want to hear from all of you. We want to make sure that we're doing the work that all of you care about. These, this is the winter. And we believe that the winter isn't going to slow us down in terms of working for all of you. So I just want to say thank you. Pay attention to the events that we have coming up. I want to thank everyone for continuing to be our allies and be supportive. But we need your feedback. We want your feedback. And uh, we only can do this work together. So I hear someone that just said, I would love to speak about Heartland's touchless technology solutions to help our businesses open safely. OK, they said they offer capital and other ways to include to increase revenue. Touchless technologies are something that are pretty important today. The opportunity for the future and contactless technology is pretty big and it's definitely accelerated during COVID. Isabella, if you want, I don't know anything about this, but you could reach out to Brian Kennedy, bkennedy at pghtech.org. If there are other ideas that you have, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We don't have all the answers. But what we do know is our job is to focus on all of you and to make sure that Southwestern Pennsylvania is an incredible place for people to build their careers, to have access to companies, to build innovation, and for tomorrow. Let's not look backwards, let's look forward. So I appreciate that. I know this is a little shorter, we're a few minutes shorter than normal, but I wanted to, um, I know I was emotional. Today is a day that um, of remembrance in terms of Tree of Life. But each and every day, there are things that touch all of us today. It's not just tree of life. It's making sure that we live in a safe community, that there's equity, and that there is um, an opportunity for prosperity for each and every one of us, OK? It's not just you know those who have had the aberration of, of what unfortunately happened to years ago. And um, it's really about each and every day and the beauty of the partnerships and this community is quite big and profound. So let's keep that tethered together. So I'm going to sign us off. Please take the time to think about Tree of Life. Don't forget to vote. Um, it is, uh, it's really important. And uh, just because winter is coming, it doesn't mean that we're going to stop doing cool things, all with the focus on each and every one of you that are building companies for tomorrow. So I'm signing off. Thank you for all the kind notes. Really appreciate all of you. Reach out to the people who just came on board and uh, introduce themselves. Many of them are not used to talking in front of people. So round of applause for appreciating them to be on this Zoom. But they are working the only reason you work at the Tech Council is to make sure that you're helping companies. That's really the only reason. If you don't like doing that kind of work and telling their stories and connecting them, it's not the right place to be. So the people who you just heard from are just a sample of the team and uh, their job is to help each and every one of you. We care, we really do. So thank you all. And who do we have tomorrow, uh, Jonathan or Brian? Our institute's coming by, Ira oh, Moskowitz. Right. He's brand new to Pittsburgh, and he's got mm -hmm. a great story about what they're doing to bring more robotics into manufacturing. Thank you.